I wake up from my bed, and out of bed I fall. And I go down to the dining hall. I eat my barley, prepared so fine. I get it from the hall and walk outside. You won't believe what I saw. There was a dragon trying to hide. I saw him and he saw me. Then he spat fire at me. I dodged it and rushed inside. I grabbed my knight and prepared to fight. The knights marched out, ready to attack. But the dragon was also ready to fight back. He burned my knights. It was such a fright. So I ran back inside to grab my squires. But when I told them there was a dragon breathing fire, they all got scared and left in a wagon. So I ran to my serfs to get them to kill the dragon. But they said no. I told them I'd pay. And they said, okay. And they were on their way. They came outside, ready to attack. But like with the knights, the dragon was also ready to fight back. He burned my serfs, all of them hurt. So I ran back inside to grab my pages. They were my last hope. They ran outside, ready to attack. But like with the serfs, the dragon was also ready to fight back. He burned my pages at such young ages. And there was no one left but me. I screamed at the dragon, what do you want? To end his reign and his terrifying haunt. It seems that with that, I made the dragon sad. I could tell he was lonely and that's why he was mad. He wanted to live in the castle with me. I told him to come in and he entered with glee. The moral is, when someone is mad, they may be sad on the inside. They may have cried. And in the end, they may just need a friend. Thank you.